The Posey and JoJo is kind of getting a little bit out of hand, but it's finally starting to kind of, kind of become a thing again. So, yeah, let's jump right into this episode. Hello, welcome to another episode of Recap Corner. This week in JoJo, we kind of get, well, we finally get, get, get to see the other two stand users after, uh, after Mr. Uh, Superfly gets 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 taken down, and honestly, that name he has it's fake. It's not it's not his real one, and also on top of that, he wears a mask because he doesn't like to show his face. Honestly, I kind of like that guy because, well, at least this season in JoJo is is not necessarily like a Power Ranger thing. It's more or less just like, well, these guys are fighting because they kind of have like a back and forth like um agreement with this person or that person to kind of give them stands so that they can grow and become stronger and so on and so forth. So it's kind of a little interesting thing there. And also he does kind of drop drop information to Josuke and, uh, and Okuyasu. Hey, Koichi has been attacked and he's been taken out. Which kind of segues us into two of our other villains of this episode. The first one in this case, Masazo, the guy who doesn't like people looking at his back is kind of goofy to the point to where that he's now fucking doing like exorcist like crab walks like upstairs just so people can't 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 look at his fucking back and i don't want to spoil it here but honestly like it is kind of fucking extreme as to why he's doing it and there's a 100 percent reason why he would do it because again if that shit happened to you I would be doing the exact same shit. But then again, I probably might just be like in a room and shit and just be like, well, yeah, I can't fucking, yeah, I can't do that. Because if you do it, bad things will happen. So, you know, but moving on from here, though, we have our fucking other villain in this episode, Ter uh, 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 Terunosuke, a man who, who pretty much is that, uh, is, uh, is that guy who loves to just wait and scare you so that, so so that when you are scared he can just use your fear and hit you with like his fucking like um uh his fucking uh, unbeatable or invincible attack in this case his stand enigma they didn't say it in the anime but of course like of course like you know if you know if you've been with the series man for so long you kind of just know it but still enigma is something like it's something like the darby stands Except for it's kind of just circled around the fact of if he if he scares you and he knows your trigger upon like uh, like what your body does like when it like like when it like when it's scared then he can use that to his advantage and sick his stand on you and once he knows it in this case uh, is Josuke's mother my mother she always chokes down like um, um she always gulps down like a thing of saliva. Or Josuke biting like his bottom lip, like when he's scared, and when he's 100% sure of that, his stand practically takes care of the rest and traps you like in a piece of paper, you know, which that in which that he can just fold and carry like in his fucking pocket. The interesting thing though is that he kind of looks like a magician doing that shit, because he also pulls out like hot, um, like like hot tea and um uh, and a biscuit and shit. Like it's kind of crazy, you know, like. His stand would be really good, good at uh, at at making money. So I will, so I will say that. However, I don't know. However, I do kind of wonder though that if his stand, if it didn't only work around fear and it worked around something like this is a say these are the faces you make when you're excited or this is the personality you have like when you're like disgusted or something like that. I wonder if his stand would necessarily still work, but. But but for now, for capturing people is just fear, you know. So honestly, this is picking up kind of fast, and I'm actually liking it so far. But till then, please tell me what do you think about this down there, there down there in the comment section. Does Enigma seem like a jackass to you? He kind he kind of does. I mean, honestly, I even like 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 the fact that they got um, uh, that they got Fuma in this mug mug actually uh, working out really good good because his sense of smell is pretty accurate <laughs> you know to where is that he can like smell he can smell his girls coming up say like getting off the elevator walking across 
say, say, say walking like a floor below or above them, and even knows that they went to the fucking pachinko parlor. Like, dude, like, that's a nose, man. Like, a bitch can't lie, man, doing that. Say, say, man, doing that shit. Just say, oh, my Jesus, did you cheat? Uh, say, um, uh, did you have a cheat day? No, I didn't. Bitch, I smell chocolate on you. What? You do? <laughs> you know. But honestly, then again, he's kind of the only guy in this series so far, man, who's ever had, say, like, who's ever had, had me like, like a woman clamoring to him more than once. Except for maybe Josuke, I mean, um... Except for, except for maybe Joseph and um, Joseph and um, uh, and uh, Susie Q, but you know, I mean, sure you can kind of say Elena and Jonathan, but that's very difficult to say. But till then, though, that is what I gotta say about that. Please tell me what do you think about this down there in the comment section. I catch you on the next John Graves show. This has been Recap Corner. I am out.